Hi everyone, welcome to Be Different for Success. Today we'll be talking about what is the stock market and how does it work? The stock market is where investors connect to buy and sell stocks, which are shares of ownership in a public company. When you need groceries, you go to the supermarket. When you're ready to buy stocks or mutual funds, you'll usually buy them online through the stock market, which anyone can access with a brokerage account, robo-advisor, or employee retirement plan. You don't have to officially become an investor to invest in the stock market. And after you purchase your first investment, you'll join the ranks of investors around the world who are using the stock market to build long-term wealth. But before you do this, it's critical to learn what the stock market is and how it works. What is the stock market? The term stock market often refers to one of the major stock market indexes, such as the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the S&P 500. Because it's hard to track every single stock, these indexes include a section of the stock market and their collective performance is viewed as representative of the entire market. You might see a news headline that says the stock market has moved lower or that the stock market closed up or down for the day. Most often this means stock market indexes have moved up or down, meaning the stocks within the index have either gained or lost value as a whole. Investors who buy and sell stocks hope to turn a profit through this movement in stock prices. How does the stock market work? The concept behind how the stock market works is pretty simple. Operating much like an auction house, the stock market enables buyers and sellers to negotiate prices and make trades. The stock market works through a network of exchanges. Companies list shares of their stock on an exchange through a process called an initial public offering or IPO. Investors purchase those shares, which allows the company to raise money to grow its business. Investors can then buy and sell these stocks among themselves, and the exchange tracks the supply and demand of each listed stock. That supply and demand helps determine the price for each security or the levels at which stock market participants are willing to buy or sell. Buyers offer a bid or the highest amount they're willing to pay, which is usually lower than the amount sellers ask for in exchange. This difference is called the bid-ask spread. For a trade to occur, a buyer needs to increase his price or a seller needs to decrease hers. This all may sound complicated, but computer algorithms generally do most of the price setting calculations. When buying stock, you'll see the bid, ask, and the bid ask spread on your broker's website. But in many cases, the difference will be pennies and won't be of much concern for beginner and long-term investors. Historically, stock trades likely took place in a physical marketplace. These days, the stock market works electronically through the internet and online stockbrokers. Each trade happens on a stock-by-stock -stock basis. But overall, stock prices often move in tandem because of news, political events, economic reports, and other factors. What is stock market volatility? Investing in the stock market does come with risks. But with the right investment strategies, it can be done safely with minimal risk of long-term losses. Day trading, which requires rapidly buying and selling stocks based on price swings, is extremely risky. Conversely, investing in the stock market for the long term has proven to be an excellent way to build wealth over time. For example, the S&P 500 has a historical average annualized total return of about 10% before adjusting for inflation. However, rarely will the market provide that return on a year-to-year -year basis. Some years the stock market could end down significantly, and in other years end up tremendously. These large swings are due to market volatility or periods when stock prices rise and fall unexpectedly. If you're actively buying and selling stocks, there's a good chance you'll get it wrong at some point. Buying or selling stocks at the wrong time will ultimately result in a loss. The key to investing safely is to stay invested through the ups and the downs in low-cost index funds. Low-cost index funds track the whole market so that your returns might mirror the historical average. How do you invest in the stock market? 
You can purchase individual stocks through a brokerage account or an individual retirement account like an IRA. Both accounts can be opened at an online broker through which you can buy and sell investments. The broker acts as the middleman between you and the stock exchanges. With any investment, there are risks, but stocks carry more risk and more potential for reward than some other securities. While the market's history of gains suggests that a diversified stock portfolio will increase in value over time, stocks also experience sudden dips. To build a diversified portfolio without purchasing many individual stocks, you can invest in a type of mutual fund called an index fund or an exchange traded fund. These funds aim to passively mirror the performance of an index by holding all of the stocks or investments in that index. For example, you can invest in both the DJIA and the S&P 500, as well as other market indexes through index funds and ETFs. Stocks and stock mutual funds are ideal for a long-term horizon but unsuitable for a short-term investment. With a short-term investment at a hard deadline, there's a greater chance you'll need that money back before the market has had time to recover losses. How Stock Exchanges Make Money Stock exchanges operate as for-profit institutes and charge a fee for their services. The primary source of income for these stock exchanges are the revenues from the transaction fees that are charged for each trade carried out on its platform. Additionally, exchanges earn revenue from the listing fee charged to companies during the IPO process and other follow-on offerings. The exchange also earns from selling market data generated on its platform, which is vital for equity research and other uses. Many exchanges will also sell technology products, like a trading terminal and dedicated network connection to the exchange to the interested parties for a suitable fee. The exchange may offer privileged services like high-frequency trading to larger clients like mutual funds and asset management companies and earn money accordingly. There are provisions for regulatory fees and registration fees for different profiles of market participants. The market maker and the broker will also form other sources of income for the stock exchanges. The exchange also makes profits by licensing their indexes, which are commonly used as a benchmark for launching various products like mutual funds and ETFs by AMCs. Many exchanges also provide courses and certifications on various financial topics to industry participants and earn revenues from such subscriptions. Competition for Stock Markets while individual stock exchanges compete against each other to get maximum transaction volume, they are facing a threat on two fronts. Number 1. Dark Pools Dark pools, which are private exchanges for securities trading within private groups, are posing a challenge to public stock markets. Though their legal validity is subject to local regulations, they are gaining popularity as participants save big on transaction fees. Number 2. Blockchain Ventures Amid the rising popularity of blockchains, many crypto exchanges have emerged. Such exchanges are venues for trading cryptocurrencies and derivatives associated with that asset class. Though their popularity remains limited, they do pose a threat to the traditional stock market model. Blockchains continue to present a threat by automating a bulk of the work done by various stock market participants and by offering zero to low cost services. Final thoughts. The stock market is one of the most vital components of a free market economy. It allows companies to raise money by offering stock shares and corporate bonds. It lets common investors participate in the financial achievements of the companies, make profits through capital gains and earn money through dividends although losses are also possible. While institutional investors and professional money managers do enjoy some privileges owing to their deep pockets, the stock market attempts to offer a level playing field to common individuals. The stock market works as a platform through which savings and investments of individuals are channelized into the productive investment proposals. In the long term, it helps in capital formation and economic growth for the country.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please click the thumbs up and write your personal tips in the comments below. Thank you for your support. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more from us. See you in the next video.